and welcome back to the Rob Tackle Box Reviews the Beers. I'm going to do another one today. I already did the, the, the Oktoberfest by Samuel Adams. And so we're going to continue with some more of these Samuel Adams. And this one here is the Samuel Adams Black Lager. Let's read about it, shall we? Black Lager, crisp, dark, hints of cocoa. Proud to be independent American craft. Whatever the hell that means. It, it's 12 ounces, 4.9% uh, alcohol by volume, and it's 19 international bitter units. The Oktoberfest was 16. This one gets a bit more bitter. And it says Black Lager. Uh, it's getting dark on me. I'm not normally a fan of these dark ones here. I'm not sure though. We're gonna check it out. Dark hints of cocoa. Would you like to a little bit of cocoa? But uh, yeah, and as we discovered with Oktoberfest, I was about to tore my hand up again. These are not twist off fucking bottles and that almost cost me my beautiful hands, you know. There was accidents about to happen. So I had to, last time to use this thing here, about 400 years. Look how nasty and old this thing is. It doesn't even have the metal in it no more. This is what I'm bottle opening with. I think I got a few cars, some keys. I got some keys there. I'm going to try to open this one here, though. This son of a bitch here. It don't, like I said, don't even have part of the opener to it. This is MacGyver shit. I got to go around it and pry that son of a bitch. Ah, oh, there we go. I bent that. Oh, yeah. I got it all. Success. Victory is mine. But that key, that damn bottle opener has been around for fucking like 20 years on that keychain. So, yeah. We're going to pour this one in the skull as well, my crystal skull. Let's see how it pours. Now, it's another dark, it's a dark amber. Almost, it's like a blood red almost in there. Look at that dark. That is a darken right there. Get all that. Oh my God, let it drip. Look at that drip. Oh yeah, right to the last drop. I'm gonna shake a few times. Get all that in there. That is a dark in there though. Looks like some cola right there. Hell, I don't know, man. I don't know, it's dark, man. That nice little head there. Nothing too big. Let, let's smell it, see if we can pick up on any of the cocoa. Hmm. It definitely has a smell like that there Budweiser copper lager, kind of. That's what it smells like. It's got that smell to it. Like I say every time, I ain't got the best smeller on me. But yeah, light smell ain't nothing overwhelming. I can't hardly... It smells more like that, that Budweiser copper lager than my normal beer, so let's taste this son of a bitch. My damn Facebook going on. Well, that's not bad. It's been a long time since I had anything like this dark. It has a coffee taste to it. That must be that cocoa, maybe. And on the back, when you when you swallow it down, you get some taste. When, you, when it's in your mouth, you ain't nothing. It's just like some beer, you know. It ain't even, it's very smooth. Aftertaste is where all the taste is. Yeah, I can taste the cocoa. It tastes like a pie, like a powder. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of a coffee taste to it. Right there on that back. After you swallowed it down, it leaves it that aftertaste in your mouth. I can taste the, detect the, what they're calling cocoa. And like I said, to me it tastes like a very light coffee taste. But it's good. It's pretty good. Look at that. It leaves a nice little film in the in the suds in the glass. It's not bad. For dark beer, this is probably um, a good experience because I remember hating these things. Of course, it's been here. I was going to think I wasn't going to like this one, but apparently I just like beer. Uh, it's got the, it, it's very smooth, but it does taste like a, a very light coffee, like 
toffee-ish, co uh, I guess that's the cocoa. I've got a coffee beer to review later, so we'll see if it's any different. Uh, hell, I'd say try this one, though. It ain't bad. Especially if you're like me and not sure sure about a black, darker beer. It's a lager, but they're Samuel Adams black lager. I like that there. I don't even know what kind of bird that is, but it, it's on there. Nice little bottle. We go pick you up some. And all these Samuel Adams I'm getting out of a, a, a sampler pack. So I got it at the Walmart, so... Uh, yeah, you can pick one up. It's got two of every beer in there, and uh, so far so good. Oktoberfest has been good. This black lager has been good. I highly recommend them so far. At least pick you up a sampler pack, and if you don't like it, you only have to drink two of them. You can't leave any down. Worst thing ever is I tried some uh, some beer, which I need to find again. Try it now, but I call Rasputin. Oh, son, it tasted like whiskey and coffee and. And who I don't know Jägermeister or something mixed together. It was, but I and I had to drink that whole six pack or four pack, whatever it was. It felt like fucking drinking Drano. But I drink the shit and buy it. Ain't letting it go to waste. But you know this here is good. The Samuel Adams Black Lager. <sighs> I hope y'all are having a good October. Halloween's coming up. I don't know what y'all do. Ain't no kids come around these parts no more. We just hide from them any which ways. They steal your shit. You have to hide your damn animals. You have to get your shit out. You know, anything you don't want stolen or fucked with. I ain't no trick-or-treaters. It's some damn trickers, I'll tell you that. I ain't them damn kids. I sit there with a damn hose pipe and run them off. It ain't like when we were children. It used to be some real trick-or-treat and everybody was scary shit. You know, guys, the Dracula, Wolf Man, some Jason, Freddy Krueger, some shit. Now everybody's some Bob the Builder bullshit or Dora Prince's and crap. There ain't no scariness to even Halloween anymore. They've ruined that. Everybody goes trunk or treating or some such church stuff trying to ruin the Halloween. I just hide and watch my horror movies and dream of a time when we got candy and got to scare the fuck out of each other and everybody else. Times is changing. These millennials probably have to go to a safe place if they've seen a Dracula. They see a Dracula walking down the street and he's not sparkling. They're going to have to go to a safe place and, and fucking have some Xanax or whatnot. But anyway, I hope y'all have a good Halloween. Hopefully there still is something good to do out there. I'm just going to probably drink some beer and watching horror movies. But uh, you try the Samuel Adams Black Lager out. And like I said before, subscribe to me if you can. I just need the subs. And uh, some likes, dislikes, whatever the hell. Talk some shit. Tell me if you'd like to see a certain beer. Or, uh, recommend to try. And uh, just leave some comments, whatever you want to say. And get off your chest. And Hell, just uh, do that. I'm on Twitter, at Rob Tacklebox. On Instagram, at Rob Tacklebox. And, uh, yeah, just look for old Rob Tacklebox. And thanks for watching. This has been a review of Sammy Adams Black Lager. And there will be more reviews to come. And uh, just, like I said, give me some suggestions on other stuff to do or review. Rob Tacklebox here, and have a good one, children.